Hi everyone. I am Dr. Natasha R. Brown, Associate Professor in the Department of Communication at Indiana University Northwest. This short presentation highlights results of preliminary research of the project entitled Memorable Message Receipt and Dietary Behavior Among Black Adults. I'm presenting on behalf of myself and my collaborators, Dr. Candace Alec and Dr. Lamarcus Wingate. Just a little background. Poor dietary intake is a risk factor for chronic diseases that disproportionately impact black adults. This is not the only factor, but one of many. The current project is an extension of a previous project. As noted here, there's another article related to this project that's currently under revising resubmit status. The current project sought to investigate memorable messages, which are defined on the next slide among black men and women. Our work, as noted here, specifically focused on black women. Here's a definition of memorable messages. Memorable messages are messages that are remembered for long periods of time and are perceived to influence one's beliefs and behavior. Here are some examples here, and I've also provided a key publication, one of the first publications outlining what memorable messages are. Again, the focus of the current study was to examine the influence of memorable message receipt on the dietary habits of black women and men. We conducted an online survey. The survey included information regarding receipt of a memorable message, some information about that message that was not included in this particular project included the content, the source, and the time since received. But we also included uh, or collected information about diabetes self-care, which actually assessed uh, eating habits. Analysis for this particular project included simple linear regression models stratified by gender. Here are the key results. Respondents, both black men and women, reported eating a healthy following a healthy eating plan and about three days a week and eating at least five servings of fruits and vegetables at least three days in the previous week. Receipt of a memorable message was predictive of eating healthier more days for women but not men. Receipt of a memorable message was not predictive of eating at least five servings of fruits and vegetables for men or women. These results note that there needs to be further investigation to determine how memorable messages can be leveraged to help black men and women closer align with recommended dietary guidelines. More specifically, more insight is needed in regards to how to design those messages to improve health outcomes by maintaining or considering differences in communication styles between men and women. Thank you so much for listening. I'm looking forward to interacting with you all at the conference.